we're, uh, we're disappointed in the outcome. Uh, I'm proud of the, the effort that the players came out with in the second half, the energy they came out with. Uh, we really couldn't really find a rhythm offensively in the first half. Uh, they certainly got into a rhythm uh, on offense and, uh, and were able to get up on us. Not a lot of things went right for us in that first half, but, uh, but I am pleased with the, with the effort level uh, that we came out with the second half. Questions? Uh, how concerned are you that you're not competitive in these four games against the top teams in the Big Ten? Yeah, we coach the games and play the games to win. You know, like that's the, that's the, the standard that we use. Every week when we, when we do the game plan, it's an individual season. I don't know that any of these teams are identical. You know, so for us, you know, we're going to start over again this week. You know, we got an opportunity one more time in the regular season to be 1-0. And we're going to do everything we can in terms of preparation to make sure that we, have, we get, put ourselves in the best position to do it. How did you have to make the effort in the second half in the first half? Is the effort an issue or why? No, I didn't think effort was an issue. But I think, when you, unfortunately, when you get down like that, I think weaker-minded teams, less mature teams may not come out and give that kind of effort. So I was pleased with the effort they came out with in the second half, and, uh, and it's, it gives us something we can build on. Kyle, uh, was Gary okay? There's a photo of him in a walking boot before the game, and he never really looked that comfortable in the first half. Was he, is he okay? Well, define okay, and I'll tell you if he's okay. <laughs> if you're asking me, let me say it this way. If you're asking if he's 100%, no, he's not 100%. I don't know how many football players at this point in the season are 100%, but Gary's a competitor. And uh, if we didn't feel like he gave us the best chance to win to start the game, we wouldn't have put him out there. Kyle, are you concerned about your bowl chances? What do you mean? Going to a bowl, I mean, considering you might be 10 or 11 teams qualified for eligible for a bowl and maybe eight or nine spots. When was the last time a six win Big Ten football team didn't go to a bowl game? It hasn't happened in a while. I'm not that concerned. I apologize in advance if this has been asked, but Kyle, are you concerned that these are four games against the top competition in the Big Ten uh, and there wasn't really a chance in the second half in any of them? Or a little concerned about what that says about the program? We coach the games to win. You know, we, we don't coach the games to be close. You know, so every week when we do the game plan, it's, it's to try to put the players in the, in the best position to win one-on-ones and, and use the matchups to be one and out. You know, we'll do the same thing this week. Kyle, what would you message to the team after the game? Your message to the team? We need to play better. We need to play better. You know, I think for everybody's got to look at their performance and speak to their own performance. That's, uh, that's I think, what's important in, in these situations. Because next week, new team, different matchups, different schemes, different personnel. Uh, the challenge, again, of going on the road and trying to be 1-0 in somebody else's stadium. Kyle, what's the biggest challenge of going on the road in these Big Ten games? Because it seems like it's been pretty tough. I think the challenge is always you know, going on the road into an environment that's going to be hostile. And playing against good football teams, you know, that have good players and good coaches. I think we've talked about tapping kind of quite a bit this season. The fact that it's an 11th game, it still kind of seems to be an issue. How frustrating is that? I don't live in a world of frustration. I don't ever allow that to enter who I am. And for me, you know, we'll look at the film. We've got players that want to play better. They're playing with tremendous effort. I'm really excited about that when it comes to this football team. You know, this result today does not change how I feel about this football team. I've said all along that I thought this was a special football team. Uh, the way they play for each other uh, as a program is, is really exciting for me. And do we need to tackle better? Sure, we need to tackle better. And, and we're going to work all week to try to do that. Uh, Kyle. Did any of the stuff Michigan State did in the second half, the fake field goal of 35 or the handoff to the right guard, bother you? Did you feel like it was disrespectful? I don't concern myself with the above and beyond our, our job to defend the plays. You know, it's, it's their job to call the plays that, that they want to call. In the first half, you had that one drive where you guys were moving the ball, and then first quarter ended and came out through, through three straight times and went for the field goal. Can you just kind of describe that sequence, what you guys are looking for there? Every play, we, every play that gets called is, is designed to be executed. You know, so you know, we'll look at the film, and if we feel like there's a better way to do it next time, you know, we certainly will do it a better way next time. But in the first half, execution overall you know, wasn't very good.
Any other questions? Thank you.